What is going on, brothers? This is Welcome Back to Grounded. Today, I want to get a few things done, and that is get prepared for building a really nice base. But to do that, I want to increase my carry capacity so I'm not running around all over the place. So I thought today would be a good day to come over here or somewhere. I think it's like right here to grab that tier three axe. And then with that, I can sneak up to the upper yard. Um, I think it's around here and grab the badge that's hidden behind some uh, roots that you need a tier three axe to cut that increases your carry capacity by like 15, I think, which is for one ridiculously awesome. So we're definitely going to do that. So that's today's plan. We're going to get ourselves much more equipped and get ready for some good adventure time. I'm going to bring, let me put this down here. I just want uh deposit this, withdraw one. I want to bring that with me to research and I can just drop it on the ground. Same with the spoiled meat that I clearly haven't researched. Is there anything else I haven't researched over here? I don't think so. Oh, one of these guys, I suppose. And also a thistle. Interesting. Okay. So we'll take that with us. And the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to go get the axe. But to do that, I need to head over to the ant hill. I don't think the one near my house has ants in it because that's an old ant hill. So I'm going to need to go over here and grab some red ant eggs. We need to use red ant eggs and fungal or fungus to in to break into the place where the ax is. Getting some research done. We've unlocked the spike trap here. We've got the spoiled meat slurry. I don't know what that's used for. And then mushroom bricks, which is a crafting material. We can't get that for quite some time. We need to have an oven. And to do that, we got to go pretty far. Um into the crafting tree and open some things up and i'm pretty sure we need, even need to be in the upper yard perhaps to get the stuff because i feel like one of the ingredients we need is from like ladybirds or something like that not too sure i forgot to mention one thing with this because the red spider eggs or the red ant eggs sorry they end up hatching eventually and as far as i'm aware i don't believe there's a way to prevent that from happening so what I'm doing first is I'm going to come over here and grab the fungal spores we need. And usually on this rock, you can see we've got an effective infected ladybird or just a ladybug. But we also got some infected bites here. And these are just an easy kill. You can come over here and grab some fungal growth. Just watch out for that ladybird, the ladybug. Ah. And a dickhead. I'm probably going to jump down. Do I have a... I do have a dandelion on. I'm probably just going to jump down. I don't know where the other might went. Oh, there he is. Usually there's two up here, so. Can't hit him on this ledge. There we go. So, two is enough to gain a, what's going to call it, a brat bird. But I want to get at least one or two more just because I'm already out there. So, I might as well grab a few things. Remember, when you're going into the ant hill, if you're wearing full ant armor, even the soldier ants won't bother you. They will, however, go after you once you start picking up spider eggs. So, I keep calling them spider hey, eggs. Once you pick up room. ant eggs, put a little bit of a brittle quartzite over here. Don't forget to grab that. Go Always ahead. keep an eye out in the corners. So there is like a little bit of a tunnel down here that you can kind of go through, and there is some good stuff here. A little bit of marble shards right there in the corner. Very nice. Uh, that looks like it could be blown up, but it doesn't say it can, so maybe not. And what we're looking for are red ant eggs and a molar. I'll take a molar. Finally have my tier two 
hammer, thanks to the last episode, so we can start collecting these now. And we got another marble shard and a quartzite right there. Another quartzite. Hello, ant. Don't attack them either. Once you attack them, they start to get pissed at you. The aggro does kind of go away after a little while, but it takes a bit. Here we go, another quartzite. These are, this is a great place to go if you're trying to level up some of your gear and you're missing some um, some shards for quartzite and marble. There's a good amount of rocks in here and this is a very easy place to get into because you don't have to fight anything down here. As long as you put the ant armor on, you can come down here, grab all these free resources. Then just make sure to grab like a couple eggs on your way out and just book it for the high heavens. Looking real good down here. Get some more science. Might run out of inventory space again. This is a long trip for me, so I've, uh, we're de yeah, we're definitely full on space. I've got a lot of mite fuzz. I'll drop the uh, larva head spikes because those are pretty simple to get. So it's the mite fuzz, but I'll definitely use mite fuzz more often. So I've got an egg here, but no one's here. We'll take that. I don't know. These don't stack. So I am going to have to, I'll drop that piece of meat because I want to grab at least two. Just because I'm down here, so it's like, just save me a trip later. I would like more, though. Scab right here. Another quartzite shard rock. Beautiful. We're going to have plenty of upgrade materials. I'm probably going to use this on making the crossbow first. I can hear them, but let's... Grab that. What's this? Rotten bee shin guards. Um, you know what? Let's eat this. I am going to drop the gnat fuzz. And I'm going to drop a stack of mite fuzz. Rotten bee shin guards. It can be analyzed. I think that's how we learn how to... Or it's one of the ways we can learn how to make the bee set. A lot of raw signs down here, too. This is nice. Definitely need some of this. I think this brings me back towards the entrance. Yeah. See, look, and th they're not upset with me, even though I have the eggs on me now. It's just when they see you take them, and, like, I think very shortly after they see you take them as well. To be confirmed, of course. Drop down this little hole here. Awesome. I got a sturdy quartz line, so that's a tier two. That's my first uh, tier two, I suppose. And I have a red anthill burgle chip, so we can bring that back to our boy. Oh, that's the grave robbery burgle chip. Okay, very nice. Is there a grave here? Why are there so many apple bits here? There's a lot of apple bits, and I'm not sure why. I'm gonna eat some. Can't waste food. Leave these here. Wasn't expecting this down here. Oh, here's a. Here it is. Rotten bee shoulder pads. I think you get the whole rotten bee set down here, huh? Gives you bow stun. Can you repair it? You can with blue leather. Interesting. I'm gonna grab this ice mint. Ice caps mint. And I'll drop the grass. You do get a mutation from eating these ice caps, by the way. So the first one, where are they? Here they are. So the first one you get, you eat, give it a second, you get the fresh defense mutation. Now, I don't remember how many you have to eat for this. Let me go to status here. Let's see. What does it look like? Fresh defense. This one. So this gives you gas and burn resistance and sizzle protection. So this is really good when you're going towards the uh, grill, I suppose. I didn't realize it gave sizzle protection as well. That's pretty nice. I'm going to eat the others. These are pretty easy to get. There is the mint case like right that spawns in, like near the start of the game. So I'm just going to save myself the inventory space. Excuse me. I'm going to just take that brittle shard from you, Mr. Worker Ant. Thanks. Appreciate you. Lots of good stuff down here. I forgot how good this place was. Like, go down here and explore. This should be one of the first places you go so you can start upgrading your uh, a good tier two tool that you want to use. So I saw a little bit of science over there. I'm just going to grab that and call it easy here. Going to head back. 
I think that's the only thing down there. It is a way out, but we don't need out. Not yet, at least. Hello, friend. Yo, Lance. Okay. Oh, another oh. one. My <laughs> word. We're going to be stacked, brothers. Am I leaving? I think I might be leaving. No, not yet. Can't believe how many of these things there are in here. This anthill is gold. Oh, we got rock cracker mutation. Mm. What's that? Juicy? That's hilarious. So, plus pebble harvest speed. Pretty good. When we go out for like a pebble harvest, that'll be really nice for us. That's just a pebble. So this was the, so this is back down where we went there. And that was that one branching that location we saw before, I believe. Pebbles. So this must be the way out, I believe. Yeah. So I think I saw an anti-glowing. No, it was just a pebble. I want to see if that other one respawned. I'd like to leave with three. Making a quick pit stop over at the science station. We're going to research my egg real quick because I'm going to get rid of this. So I want to make sure to do that now. Science. Nothing to get out of it, but some brain power. Level seven. And see, look, we've actually just got all the, the bee stuff, but that's okay. We're going to research our crow feather. I did find this while I was running around the haze. It was just on the ground, so I didn't bother recording it. Nothing special. Feather arrows, marksman cap, and that crossbow. That crossbow is what I'm looking for right now. And I'll just do the mask real quick. So you can see we get a little bit of raw science out of it. We're not going to learn any recipes since we just hit brain power seven. So that's okay, though. And now that I think since I got the crow feather, I think we can search for crow feather pieces. Yes, we can. If I do that, I'll put a little mark right here. Boop. Grab that real quick. There's just barely enough arrows to spare. We got them. Look at that. What, what a champion. Stupid spider didn't know what he was getting into. Idiot. Idiot. A little bit of spider venom. We've researched a spider venom, right? Yeah. Yeah, because we did cheese that other spider that one time. Get away from my house, wolf spider. My house. All right. And now I want to make... I think I only have enough for one before I freaked out. Yeah, just one. One works. And we'll grab one more dry trunk. Be right back. And the final broppers. Perfect. So we're going to go back in here. I'm going to just start dumping things again. Uh, let's just do a quick one. I did get attacked by a stink bug while I was out there, but I just quick swapped to my gas mask. No big deal. No big deal, guys. Keep your gas mask with you. All right. Let me give this a sort. This is where I have my upgrade material, so I'm going to throw that in here. Here, I'll put the crow feathers. We've already researched it. Here we'll go spider fangs. Fungal growth can go in here. Over here, some dry grass. That's pretty decent. So I've got my brought burst now. That was the whole point to the trip out there. Now let's make a quick trip to the wall. Like I said, I believe it's, it's right around here. This is spider alley over here. This is a corner where there's a ton of orb weavers. And like right here, there are usually two bombardiers as well. So I'm going to need to bring some uh, sap with me and clovers. I don't know how much sap I need. 30 is probably overkill, but I'm going to take it anyways. And I need some clovers. I don't know if I have clovers just sitting around. I do. I'm going to bring them all again. Not sure how many I need. And then I need to bring some weeds with me because we're going to need to make some ramps. <laughs> Not again. Daddy, no. <laughs> Just trying to get these weed stems, mighty guy. Bro, relax. Hey, you two mites, relax. <gasps> it's hanging out here. Okay, yeah, mite, let's go. Freaking chop that down. I was like looking up trying to get these things because they were stuck in the grass. You see, like, the tufts. We got some more weed stems right here, too. I don't think I can reach that. No. Not this one. Okay, bro. You're about to get slapped in the face. All right. This is where we want to be. So you're going to want to find this milk carton here. We are right here on the map. My ping was a little off. Whoops-a-daisies. It's all right, though. 
So let me show you. I want to kill these guys just to get them out of my way, though. I don't want to be... Oh, well, actually, they're probably pretty fine, but you see... No, no, see. What the heck? Ooh, that's a Skeeto. No, thank you. Not not with this armor set. Sorry, bro. Ooh, I've also got, like, no health right now. Please, please be good to me. Good, good. All right, maybe I'll leave the bombardiers alone. But you saw it. It's, like, right there, I think. I, I just missed it since we got uh, attacked. See if I can do this here. There we go. So that crack right there. That's where you want to be. If he comes over here, I'll finish this sucker off. That's what I thought, bro. That's what I freaking thought. All right. Going to grab my stems. I had just put them down real quick so I could see what I was doing. Go to the build mode. So like I said, we're going to want to aim for that. So you're going to want to get start yourself at the highest point and try and aim right for it if you can save yourself some building okay and i'm just gonna plop these down plop these down you only need like four or five of these things do another tour Could most likely make that with a hover jump so let's just do this you could also stagger them like that that would probably do you a lot better oh what the heck just happened <laughs> i don't know what made me just fall from there maybe it's because i hit the <laughs> hit the side of the wall excuse me coming in thank you so this is what we're looking for now what you're gonna do take your brat burst throw it in your hot bar uh, put it on. Do not huck it. Do not be like Goofy and get the old <laughs> You're going to just drop this thing, okay? So drop it and run away. Because these things bounce. So if you throw it, it's probably going to bounce off that wall and you're going to fuck yourself. So if you only brought one and you threw it, I laugh at you. I'm sorry. It's really funny. I'm laughing at your misery, but it is funny and you know it. So you're going to come down here. I don't believe there's anything harmful in here. Open up the chest, grab some supreme whetstone, some sturdy whetstone and plating. So it's all really good stuff. And in this trash can is the mother load pinch whacker. So we're going to take this. We're going to throw this over here because this is an axe. So you can see if we compare it to where's the other insect axe right here. So if we compare it to our insect axe, which has just about one and a half damage, one stun and three and a half speed. The Whacker has the same stun and speed, but has just over two and a half damage, so it's quite nice. And it has a short circuit, which is an AoE electrical attack that has a small chance to proc. So it's really, really nice. Here it is. It's beautiful. We'll see if it'll proc eventually. So, but then also just make sure you go around, come in here, and there is a Rotten Berry Charm here. Which this thing, what is it? Gives you Rotten Deluge, which is makes your rotten weapons more powerful. I haven't had a rotten weapon before, so I don't know how well it works. Eager to find out, though. All right, now we're going to make the final ascent. This is going to take me a minute to get over there, but we are going to go, like I said, right about here, I believe. And we're going to use this axe to cut through and get in there. And I'm probably going to have to climb. So we'll see. But I brought this with me because I believe over here is where I'm going to start. I think that's where you break a rock so you can start getting into the upper yard and begin the ascent. So stay tuned. While I was waiting for night to fall because I knew it was going to come while I was out on that adventure. So I decided to come back to see our boy Burgle because I remembered there was a golden milk bowler down here that I never got. Bam! Alley -hoo. Oops. There we go. Grab that or the mega milk molar. And I also have the new chip that we got from the graveyard to give to our boy. Where you at, boy? There he is. It's not beautiful. What'd you just put in your face? I didn't give you that. Hello there. Active pal, can I I'm afraid Dr. Tully did not progress. Was it perhaps about a why don't you Oh, he's asking about the dream. dream. I was shrunk in an an ominous uh -huh. factor. There are two spacers, just as Dr. Tully surmised, one in the yard and one at Ominous. 
he had a, he had a hunch they were he stopped working for them and computes uh don't believe their dreams are surely your memories but perhaps they're only returned to you as dreams so ominous shrunk us that was a test i passed we're not a secret agent why would they be shrieking children you had another puzzle for us to solve on the plus side your memories must be slowly returning if you have another dream please come again so maybe not so what do 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 what should I be doing now? My advice on how to get home. <laughs> Dr. Tully backed up my next. I recommend going for a swim. I want to give you the the thingy I have. Find and return. Oh, how can I help you? There we go. I found an auxiliary ah, chip. Got Jim. thousand raw signs for that. Hand it over and let us Let's see. Uh the ASL terminal sign shop for new recipes. All right, goodbye. Appreciate you. What did we unlock? So come over here now we can use this also i gotta get up some new quests explore complete the trail marker at weed killer peak okay uh kill water boatman i don't know what i don't even know what that is and craft a firefly headlamp all right those are gonna take me a bit though yep uh also we got milk molar stuff so i'm gonna do do i want to do i want to wait and do max mutation I think I do. I'm going to wait and do max mutations. Let me know in the comments what you guys like to do. Uh, and then the mega milk flows. I'm going to do max resource back size so I can carry. <laughs> I have to, I can l go further and leave less. All right. So we got pebble foundations, fortified bases, meat shield, teen spirit, zip lines, ladders, the hedge, fiber bandage efficiency. Yes. Canteen upgrade. Yes. And I don't care about the scab scanners yet. That's more of like an end game thing because they're cosmetics, but they're part of your end game report card. So do grab it if you're trying, if you're having trouble finding them or just look them up, you know, cheaters. And let's see, buff lungs. Uh, that's just a mutation. Don't care. Don't care. I'm going to go with fortified bases. No, pebble foundation first. Yeah. Do I have enough? I had exactly 2,500. That's kind of crazy. Well, so I have the materials to make a crossbow. So I'm going to make that. And then I'm going to come over uh, here and make. We need. I need brittle whetstones. I'm going to make like 30 for now. Maybe 40. I'll make 40. I don't know if the shards do me any good besides uh, turning them to whetstones. But just in case. Two, three, four, five. Then I need Mighty Glob, which I don't know how to make yet. Okay. That's fine, though. This does not need to be analyzed. So now we've got this bad boy. It's a little slower than a bow, of course, but the damage is much better. I think overall I'm going to enjoy this. So you can see we've got to level five. And it's got a nice damage boost. Obviously, speed's pretty slow. This is going to help us out quite a bit. Oh, my God. I am a moron. I... F fuck. I forgot to bring the brought... The brought burst. Oh, no. So because I obviously didn't forget the brought burst, and I definitely don't have an entirely different inventory worth of stuff. This is the same time, so I'm going to uh, equip this here. I still forgot to make a torch, too, because I'm a genius. Oops, and we are going to drop it. Beautiful. Well done, everybody. Well done. We made half the objective so far. Stuck. I'm stuck. Ooh. Still stuck. There we go. Up we go to the ascent. There's probably some stuff down there, but we got plans. We got things to do. We got raw science to grab. That's a bee. Hello, friend. I'm going to grab this water, though. Thank you. And now, what are you? A roly poly. Tier three. Three hearts. Weakness is bursting, fresh, salty, spicy, resistance to chopping, stabbing, and slashing. Um, so it has a resistance to stabbing. Stabbing is arrows. I wonder, how much health do you have? 
No thanks. You can keep that arrow, sir. Let you do your thing over there. We are going to go... Um, need to get up there. Because we want to go, like, over here-ish. So that's the play. 900 centimeters to go. What is this? A scarab? I don't know what that is. Oh, it left. Special. Data. Down here. This thing? No, that's an aphid. This thing. Scarab. A harmless little creature that resides in regions of the upper yard drops twinkling shell on death. Interesting. Okay. They run away, so I gotta be quick on that. But you gotta be quicker than that. Gotta find a way up here, too. Oh, that's just really pulley. We don't mind them. They're neutral unless I attack them first, which is, you know, very. So I found this idiot stuck down here on the ground and he started charging me first. So I decided to take a few shots at him and I got him. So black ox beetle down. So that's a tier three. Oh, just got sharpshooter. That's pretty nice. What are these? Grass seeds? That's new. Grab these arrows here. Excellent. So, you know, we got that idiot. What'd we get out of that? We got... It was a quick sort. I've got Tough Gunk and Black Ox Part, which is a tier three, so that's pretty nice. Basic seed used to grow grass. Well, I'll take that home with me and make some grass. You know what I mean. All right, so here's the blue cap. It's underneath here. You can tell when you get to this juice box here. It's just a little bit back this way. Go for the red fire ants. I don't know if this ladybird's going to be all pissy at me, but I'm just going to kind of sneak by. Excuse me, coming through. Thank you. And then we come up to this. <gasps> what? You can't hit this with the whacker anymore? Oh my god, they, they changed it. Before, you used to be able to bring the whacker in here. Oh, that's unfortunate. That means I need to make a tier three axe or maybe a knife. I don't know if a knife works in here or not. If not, um, I don't even think I know how to make a tier three or anything. I don't. So, wow, that kind of sucks. I understand them making this not a tier three axe, but I don't understand why that's locked behind a tier three. It's kind of silly. It's just a hauling thing. It's just to make building easier. Like, why are you penalizing us builders? Let us build without having to be at the end game. That's okay, though. I'll figure out how to make a tier three axe. I think it's termites uh, with their little face thingies. So we'll, we'll figure that out. But we're going to wrap this up here. We completed the adventure. Unfortunately, we didn't get the results we were hoping for. So, brothers and sisters, as usual, if you're loving it, hit that like button. Subscribe as well so you can be back here for that next episode. And as usual, the rest of your day is... Not too shabby.